Well, this has actually been an amazing event because it's actually very necessary to prepare and to plan for Brexit. Now, it's difficult to prepare and plan because it's unprecedented, no member state has ever left, and the guidelines in Article 50 are very, very sparse. But those businesses and individuals who fail to plan are more likely to fail. So what businesses need to do is do three things. First of all, diagnose what they need, how, for example, EU law affects them right now in terms of passporting, free movement of goods, free movement of workers and so on. So diagnose how EU law affects them. Then secondly, decide what they need to do. It may be to lobby government, to lobby the European Union or whatever, and then thirdly, to actually do something about it. It is an absolutely unprecedented event. Uh, it could be a great opportunity. And for Northern Ireland, for example, it's part of one place, it's linked to another, and it could be open to the world. It could become the Hong Kong post-Brexit. For the Republic, the challenges span all sorts of industries and sectors, agriculture, transport, food and drink and so on. But just as Ireland made a success of the 1973 accession, it could also make a success post-Brexit as well. But the challenges are there, so what we would say to businesses and others is to diagnose, decide and do.